So how was your Valentine's Day? What did you get up to? But let me tell you something. If you're Muslim and you celebrate Valentine's Day, then slap yourself. Slap yourself with the uncooked roti. Uppercut your soul. Bruh, even people in Saudi Arabia are starting to celebrate Valentine's Day. I ain't gonna lie, she looks nice. So like, I wanted to do a video about the day before Valentine's Day. Friday the 13th. <laughs> it was also Juma. Basically, every single Gora that I know, they always watch at least one horror movie on Friday the 13th. So I decided to do the same. So I did, you know, one of those ones where you just call your boy up and say, Oi, bruv, what's your login to Netflix? And then I realized something that the world already knows. Netflix is shit, man. So then I thought I'd do it the proper way. And I went online and illegally download their movies. You know, like the legit way. And as I started watching horror movies, I realized one thing. They're all the freaking same. So that's why I decided to make this short little video. Horror movies. White people versus brown people. Okay, the first thing is really obvious. The black guy always dies. It's not even like a small death, like, oh, I got a stroke. Oh, wait, let me die in silence. Bro, they get the worst deaths possible. Like a plane fell on his head. I can imagine the casting director for that movie. Okay, so the requirements is you need to be black. Okay, because you're black, you've got the job. <laughs> you have no lines. We're just going to kill you straight away. And I hope you don't mind, but we're going to use a real knife. So it looks real. Black. Bruv, how racist can you get? That's so racist, you know? If, if brown people, we made a horror movie, bruv, the white person will die first. Yeah. But obviously the killer would be black. Because our parents always tell us that, you know, black people, they're criminals and they kill people. Have you noticed those movies, yeah? When there's like a, a, a good bunch of people, but only one killer. And then this one dumb white guy would say that one dumb line that we always hear in horror movies. I got an idea. Let's split up. What is wrong with you, fam? Calm your life. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Okay, Charles, you go into the attic. The attic. I will go into the basement and you can, well, um, you stay here vulnerable. Yes. Vulnerable. That's okay. I'll be fine. God's on my side. <laughs> but if it was brown people, it would be like... I think we should split up. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why are we gonna split up? What? Look, there's three of us and there's only one killer. Bruv, we can beat the crap out of this guy. You know, love, what the hell? <laughs> Have you seen those horror movies? You know when they hear like, like a spooky noise like out of nowhere? White people will always be like... What was that noise? Fellas, I believe it's that demonic demon that's killing people. Okay, let's take a closer look. Everything's gonna be fine. We have Jesus. What is wrong with you fam? Calm your life. That's why whenever you see those programs with animal attacks, nine times out of ten, it's always the white guy. Oh look, it's a bear. Oh, he's so cute. Let me go give him a hug. Come on. Come on. It's a bear. Bears kill more people than black people. So why are you going to walk up to the bear like it's going to give you an Eid hug? If you want to hurt yourself, go ahead by a tree. But if brown people heard a spooky noise, they would be like... What was that noise? I think it is that demonic demon that is killing the people. Oh, no. horror movie there's always that one bait scene when the killer is chasing that keel faced donkey and the guy would run into the car and then what a coincidence the car is now not working come on i got this from car giant it's reliable ah! white people where do you buy your cars from come down to uncle taj's motors where we sell second hand cars and tampons for the ladies <laughs> Now, if that same scenario happened to a brown guy, he would be like, Come on! Come on! Oh, wait! Yeah, Agba! This car's not working, man! What kind of car did you sell me? Don't try to sell me no cat D car, you know! Wait! Did I, bro, did I say wait? How many times have I told you to wait?
No, I never got married. Just this guy trying to kill me, innit? Bro, why is it got me though? And in so many horror movies, you will always see like an evil spirit in a house that will never leave. And the white people are like, Do you want to spend my candle? <laughs> We're not leaving, okay? You can't intimidate us! But did he kill your wife? You gotta try harder than that! Uh, yeah! <laughs> but if that was brown people, they would be like... <laughs> this house! Okay! Can I have to tell us twice? Oh yeah, can I stay at your house? Yep! Forever! But if there's an evil spirit in my house, I'm gone, bruh! True say, I will bang out like Atul Kusi three times. And if it don't work, I'm gone. Mr. Jin, you can keep the house. It's depreciated in value anyway. Cause it's haunted. But white people try firm it. How you gonna firm an evil spirit in your house? Don't try to stand up for yourself like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. That Jin would tombstone your mum. He won't care. He's not gonna magically get bored and, and move to South Pole. Yeah, let me start a haunting in a Shlowaka me shop. And haven't you noticed, yeah? You know white people? You know when they're getting chased by the killer? He's probably black. Haven't you noticed they would run into the dumbest places ever? <laughs> no, wait! Let's run upstairs! Yeah, good idea! Yeah, thank you, go ahead! Yes, yes! But bruv, trust me, with us brown people, we don't run! Brown people don't run! Man, I eat lamb gosh! I don't know what that means, but we're too brave to run! We hide! And I'm not even gonna lie, brown people, we, we can't hide very well! If brown people were in a horror movie and they try hide, that movie will finish in 15 minutes. Everyone will be dead. You try hide in a hole, even America found him. And white people in horror movies, they always hide too. Hiding in a closet or behind the shower curtain or the most creative place to hide under the bed. Like the killer ain't gonna check there. And in horror movies, there's always gonna be that bit when Asian parents are gonna be like, Oh, hey, better Ch change the channel. Better change the channel. Rude bit. What are you watching? Bruv, you're watching it too! I'm not watching! Okay, I'm, I'm covering with my face! C I can't see anything! Because in horror movies, there's always those two underage vegetables that want to get their freak on and break their virginity in the most romantic place they could find. An abandoned house! Bruv, what kind of girl are you going out with? Asian girls will be like, I want to go to the Hilton. Bruv, with your looks, you don't even deserve travel lodge. Basta ruler. Anyway, you would always see the boy and the girl getting their free con, and guess when it gets beer hot and steamy? BANG! Mike Myers would come out of nowhere and slice those fools up like they're fruit chart in iftari. But if Mike Myers walks in with two brown people getting frisky, they would be like, Don't tell our parents! Cause don't get it twisted, if our parents found out, bruv, Mike Myers who? My mum would slap Mike Myers out the way and kill me herself! And last but not least, you know those typical horror movies that you always see where the little white girl is possessed? Bruv, I'm not gonna lie! I wish I had white parents, man. They're so nice. They will try everything to get their daughter back. Bruv, they'll call a dog pal, they'll call a priest. Bruv, they would even call a fortune teller from Green Street. But if it was my dad and his daughter was possessed, he would be like, <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you press the like button, spread this video everywhere on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat, where you can all follow me. Brah. And most importantly, please make sure you press the subscribe button, because man is trying to hit that 1 million subscribers, even though it's never going to happen, but hey, I'm still going to try. And I would like to leave you with this. Brah, you should never be scared of anything. Fear no one, but the only thing you should fear is Allah. We should all have that fear of God that we do not want to displease Allah. But in my opinion, more importantly, love him. Because isn't it so beautiful that God could have taken your soul back last night, but instead he gave you another chance to change. So remember, show your appreciation and turn to God before you return to God. Inshallah.